I got such a shock when I saw him on the doorstep. But last I heard, he'd moved abroad. Is Susan in, he said. My eyes darted this way and that. What the bloody hell was he playing at? And then I spotted Ken over at number 75, but in his wheelie bin out. Ooh, and for a fraction of a second, I contemplated shouting over to him. Oh, God knows what I would have said. And then he spoke again. Is she in? I, I brought her these. <laughs> Show me some flowers. Lilies. They're her favourites. He looks different. He was always such a big man, but now he looks small, shrunken. And in his eyes, not a glimmer of recognition. And I realised. Oh, don't you know me? I said, I, I'm part Susan's sister. So Susan doesn't have a sister, does she? So I invited him in. I made him some tea. Susan's dead, I said, as he bit into a custard cream. Sorry. Oh, you, you must have forgotten. I forgot all of the things these days, he said. And he looked so sad. Broken. So I reminded him about the things he'd forgotten. Like how awful he was to Susan. How he bullied and belittled her. And he even drugged her on occasion. So she thought she was losing her mind. Of course, he won't remember any of this when he wakes up. No matter. It was good to get it all out. It was very cathartic. It's funny though, isn't it? What we remember. He didn't remember me, but he still remembered my favourite flowers. Lilies. I love lilies.